Hello pretties, welcome to Rev Thrill. So today I'm doing my shop mustache, but I'm gonna do it a little bit different than how I did it last time. But obviously you guys are seeing my face. I may go back to the other style if you guys prefer that better. Um, it was just a little messy today. <laughs> so I figured this this is just gonna do. This is just gonna do. All right, so I'm gonna go over the lip products that I put last time that I didn't use that I'm gonna keep uh, in this rotation. So I'm gonna keep the two lipsticks from the Manny and Laura from the Lanny, sorry, Maura and Lanny from the Lunar Beauty and uh, Laura de Los Angeles collab. There you go, I can't talk today. All right, so I'm gonna keep all three of my Fenty glosses. I feel like I, I've gotten really good use out of them if I'm being honest. Um, I don't know where the other two went. They were just here. Um, well, the only one that I didn't use is the heat one, um, Pussy Heat. But I did use the other two, but oh, they're right here. They're right next to me. Duh. Um, so I have Hot Chocolate and Fenty Glow. Um, so I'm going to keep all three of them in. I've just, I've really been enjoying these. So I'm going to keep all them. I'm going to keep these two right here as well. Um, that's going to be, I can't even look at the names anymore because they're completely rubbed off. They're the Calippo um, Blur lipsticks. Um, just because I, they work really well for me to pair with other lip products that I'm trying to like finish on top. Let's see. Um, this one is one that is going to enter my what's it called project pan soon and since i already finished my other red adjacent product i'm gonna try to finish uh get some more use it says hibiscus but it's actually jam something from um odin's eye the packaging broken so i've moved into this persona cosmetics one but there's not a lot of product in this left so i'm gonna go ahead and try to work on that i have my liquid lipsticks here from Laura los angeles i have show off Mai Tai and Skimpy, and I'm gonna keep these ones here. These are gonna be my shop massage for the entire year. I'm starting to get more use out of them. I can see the formulas changed, so they're gonna get tossed at the end of the year. So I'm just trying to get as much use out of them as possible I can. I did use um, Show Off once, but I did not use Skimpy nor Mai Tai. So I do wanna try to make a point to use these two. All right, I still have yet to try this shade, and it's because I'm so close on finishing that one red shade from a pro uh, Panda palette, sorry, Project Pan. So as soon as I can finish that one, I mean, I cannot wait to use this one. There's just walk of no shame. I think this is the exact red that I was looking for as a replacement for Kismas from Lara Los Angeles that's been discontinued. Um, but I haven't actually got a chance to try it because every time I'm going to wear a red lip, I'm using my Project Pan one. I, I, I'm really starting to see the end of that one, so I really want to focus on it some more. On that same boat, I didn't use this ones because they're like red adjacent. So... um. Now, this one is a more pigmented red, but this is a more soft red. I could try to find a way to use this one, but I didn't, so that's on me. Um, but I'm going to keep these ones because I do want to get some use out of them. All right. I actually debating whether I should get this one out or not, but this Ego Go, I, it's a red adjacent. And then you have One Third Lingerie from Milani. I didn't use these. I should have. I didn't. <laughs> All right, so I got some new pro lip products, and I'm gonna put them in the, you know, rotation for this time. So I got the ColourPop So Juicy, which is a dupe for the uh, Tarte lip plump. I don't think I like this. I mean, like it works fine, but I don't like the plumping one either. I prefer the one that is more the bomb one, and uh, I should have paid more attention to which formula it was duping from Tarte because I like this one but it's not duping this formula it's duping the, the limb plumping one so it doesn't actually tingle that much so that's not the problem it, it does look juicy it does look very nice it just i don't know i like that other one better <laughs> that's really what it is so i i'm gonna use it some more there's not a lot of product i did finally get one of these summer friday ones uh, i feel like everyone and their mother has been talking about this summer fridays and i finally got one so i want to try it out and then I like this thick blur sticks from, a oh, blotted ones from ColourPop so much. I decided I want to try the liquid formula because I don't like the packaging in these. It's like breaking. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but there's like little cracks on the packaging. It moves around. So like if you're trying to like, it moves when you're trying to put it on your lips and it's just not very sturdy. So I was 
hoping to try this liquid li or this liquid version of it and like really fall in love with it but it's definitely not the same formula um the stick one is so much better i have tried it once or twice already and it's significantly more pigmented with this one you can build up the color so you can go with a very soft wash or you can like really build up to be very bold with this it's one very bold color from the get-go it does pair up with other things very well which is what i like about these like so i can put glosses i can put uh this like tart ones whichever formula from this tart ones on top and they they blend they work so well with those oh shit so i was hoping that it was going to be the same but it's not it, it if you don't pair this on top of something it does feel like a matte liquid lipstick and it's not the most comfortable by themselves, um, but does pair really well with other things. Um, so there's that. I will not be repurchasing this, but I probably will finish it. Anyway, I'm trying it out some more. I think because there were so many lip products that I didn't use last time, I, I shouldn't. I think I put too many in this my last rotation. And I, so I just want to play with the ones that I currently have on. So I'm not going to add any more. For blushes, I am going to keep this one more rotation. I actually got to use it because I've had it. This will be the third rotation I put it in. But the first rotation, I didn't actually use it. I did use it a couple of times this last rotation. But I just want to get a little bit more color. And I want to try it out a little bit more. I've been debating whether I should do a face palette, a pan that face palette uh, next year. And this is the palette that I will be considering for that. So I think I just want to play with it some more before I make up my mind. Just because... I don't know these are not the colors that I would normally go for for blush they are very easy to like I, this orangey shades this are not really my thing but this shade is actually too light for me but if I pair them together it actually tones it down where it's doable I can do a peachy shade like this this actually works um, all of these are fine this one is a little bit too cool toned so I need to try to pair these two together and see if that's something that I can like you know make it work because again this this is a little too cold for my skin tone. This is a little too orange for my skin tone. So maybe they can neutralize this nose a little bit. All of these are fine. This bottom row is fine. I don't care for the highlight. This one is just a good like blending shade because it's too light for my skin tone. Period. Um, it is a very pretty color. It's just too light. So I want to play with it some more and see if that's something that I can make work for next year. So there's that. I'm going to keep this right here. Um, mostly because I have this in my project pen. So I'm kind of keeping all of them here all right let's see what else we got i am I, I put a foundation last rotation huge mistake huge mistake my project pan is going to notice that because i did not use i've not used my project pan foundation in maybe two three weeks <laughs> i've been loving it I am, however, going to be adding a um, concealer. I do have another concealer in my project pan. I'm hoping that I'll still reach for this one more. Um, that being said, I noticed that this one's getting pretty low. I actually have a backup of this one, so I just want to see if I can naturally reach for it a little bit. And then maybe instead of using um, the REM Beauty one to like neutralize I will use this one instead to neutralize the color because the one in my project pan is way too yellow. Um, and I've gotten really good use out of this concealer even though it's not in my project pan. But maybe I can try to get maybe I can try to get this one finished. It's not gonna get done in one month. I can guarantee you that right now. But maybe I can get because I mean it's pretty it's pretty empty. Um, and again, I have a backup ready to go. So I would like to get try to get some use out of that and see if when I can finish it, you know? Okay, um, I'm also including a blush. I feel like I've been trying to even out the pan in my Project Pan blush. I can show you, because it's, it's there's nothing to show yet <laughs> on it. I've been trying to even out the the pan because I feel like it the rings are pretty noticeable right here, but it, everywhere else is pretty, it, it's pretty newish still. But that being said, I, would like to be able to just focus back on just hitting pan i just want to hit pan and i think i would like to focus on this blush right here for like just finish just so i can give myself like a little win you know uh, and like not focus for that for a little bit and give myself a little break 
But for that, I actually need to try this color. I've never tried it before. <laughs> it came in, a, in like a little mini set and like just like an added on thing that they, they did. But so I actually haven't tried it, but I know there's not a lot of product in these little things and it's really hard to get the stopper out. So I don't know if I'll be able to. There's, it says made in Korea, how, but how much product is in this? There's, there's very little product, it's not shade encouraged. So I wanna just try this shade um, just for like once. That's all I want. I just want to try once, see if I can make it work, see if it works for my skin tone, see if it's something I can use on a, like a day in, day out kind of thing. So I can maybe take a break from my Project Pan blush, finish that little blush, and then go back to that my Project Pan one. So that's that's what I'm trying to do. I'm not going to include any highlighters this time around, just because I actually had a bit of a malfunction. I don't malfunction. My highlighter fell and it broke. <laughs> and so I have very little left on my Project Pan highlighter. So I, at this point, I'm like, I just need to take, take the L and just finish it up. You know, I need to just finish it up because there's not that much left. So I'm not going to put any highlighters. I'm not putting any bronzers because I'm technically adding a bronzer into my Project Pan very soon. So I'm just going to leave that alone. Um, not adding foundations. We already said why. <laughs> And I think that is everything. Oh wait, no eyeshadow. Duh, I have a lot of eyeshadow. As I mentioned before, I really want to do a lot of like really nude. Like I want to do a lot of bold lips. I want to be able to finish my uh, red bullet lipstick for my project pan. And in order to do that, I need to do a lot of neutral looks. I feel like stop, stop. So, and I also would like to get more progress out of my other. Um, my pink lip lips uh, bullet lipstick that's in my project pan it's it, it looks muted but it's very it's actually very pigmented so that being said I have some palettes here that are very neutral and that's kind of what I'm going for I really want to do a lot of bold lips in this next month and try to get those two bullet lipsticks done because I know I finished in the last three weeks um, three lip products already uh, going on four actually I'm going on four. So I know I can finish a lip product. And those bullet lipsticks, I've had them for way too long. I've been focusing on that red bullet lipstick and I've made so much progress in just wearing it a little bit more often than I would have been doing what I've been doing. So I just feel like I need one big push. If I can just do one really big push, I think I will get enough. Stop. I think I can get enough momentum to finish them off if not this common rotation, the rotation after that. So I really just want to push myself to get those, you know, to get them out. That being said, I have a bunch of neutral palettes, right? So I have my Jaclyn Hill and uh, Morphe palette, which I think everyone and their mother knows what it looks like, but this is what it looks like. It's also one of my oldest palettes and I have noticed the formula changing, so I do want to get quite a bit of use out of this one before it does go bad, because I do really like that palette. Um, I also have my Nudie Patootie palette from Laura Los Angeles. This is honestly a palette that brings me joy whenever I look at it. So I just want to get a little bit more use out of this one. I really like it. Uh-huh. All right. Let's see what else we got. I've got my Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 3. This is definitely the neutral palette of all neutral palettes. There you go. So, yeah. I'm thinking of doing one black like smoky eye at some point during this month. I'm really excited about it. Okay, let's see. I've got my Scott Barnes um, Shimmering Sands, which is just a little a little baby one <laughs> right here. Okay, and what else we've got? We got my Persona Identity palette, which is this is the another really really neutral palette, but it has. Some of those pinky purpley plump shades that I think will go well with that pink shade, which I'm that's what really what I brought it in for. All right, we have another big palette. We have my Scott Barnes as natural number one, which again, same oh, sorry, it's it, the, it's the glare of the packaging. It does have some of these like pinky plummy shades, but it does have very neutral shades. So I think this would be a really good one to do either bold red lip or more you know pinky color kind of shade um let's see and the last one is my 
Makeup by Maria palette, the Tyrell Eyes. I know, I'm back so soon. Mm. I just, I've been really thinking about this palette a lot. So I figure I might as well. And these are the kind of shades that you can just kind of do a little glimmer shade and a shade in the eye and then just really go bold with the lips. So that's kind of what I'm going for here as well. So anyway, that is officially my little basket. Oh gosh, it's done. All right, so please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.